The first stanza of the first of its kind novel intercultural marriage between the twin daughters of Senator Hope Uzodimma and their husbands was a spiritual fortification at the Holy Trinity Catholic Church, Maitama Abuja, on Saturday, 1st of July, 2017. The church service began in earnest with the entrance rites and processional hymn as the proud father of the twin brides, Senator Hope Uzodimma, walked them graciously into the church with the song Praise My Soul, the King of Heaven resonating in the background. The lucky people who are involved in the epoch making event are the Uzodimma twins, Sandra Nkechi, who is a mass communications graduate from Babcock University, Ilishan Remo, in Ogun State, and her husband, Adeola Adewoye, a sociology graduate from the Redeemers University, Lagos. Adeola Adewoye is from Inisha, in the Odoati local government area of Oshun State. Idealized into the business of water treatment. Sophie Nkim Uzodimma did political science as a first degree at the Babcock University, Elishan Remo, Ogun State, with a master's degree in management at the Sheffield University, United Kingdom. Sophie's husband is David Onyekachuku Onovo, who studied information technology in Malaysia, now into full scale mechanized farming with the supply of products in poultry, fish, and agricultural products. David Onovo is from Nkanu East local government area of Enugu State. The groundbreaking and benchmarking inter-tribal marriage of the Uzodima twins on the same day, with which Senator Hope Uzodima has shifted the paradigm in the age-long template we are familiar with in these climes, couldn't have come at a better time than now to reaffirm a strong belief of Nigerians in the continued indissolubility of Nigeria as one corporate entity. This is against the backdrop of the increasing call for restructuring from different quarters of the land. With this kind of marriage, what Senator Hopu Zadim Mahu is from Omuma in Olu from Imo State, Pastor Adewoye from Oshun State, and Chief Onovo from Enugu State are boldly saying is that we are better and stronger together as Nigerians. Indeed, this bridge-building message by Senator Hopu Zodimma and his in-laws was not lost on Nigerians, as epitomized in the diverse assemblage of those that attended the church service, which cut across all the geopolitical divides of our land and different spheres of life. Headlining the dignitaries list was the Speaker of Nigeria's House of Reps, the Right Honorable Yakubu Dogara, the Deputy President of the Senate, Senator Ike Kurimado, Governor Willie Obiano of Anambra State, Dr. Eric Kelechi Igwe, Deputy Governor of Ibuni State, represented Governor Devu Mahi of Ibuni State. From the royal corridors were the Orni of Ife, His Imperial Majesty, Oba Adeyeye Nitongunusi, the Jaja II, King Dandasin Jaja of Opobo, who is the chairman of River State's Traditional Rulers Council. Ezekletus Ilumwanya and his wife, Ugweze, were the sponsors of the marriage. Senator Major General Ike Wachuku, who was the chairman of the reception. Former Governor of Abia State, Senator T.A. Oji and his wife. Former Governor of Imo State, Chief Ike Hakim. Senator Eyin Naya Baribe. Senator Emmanuel Polka. Dr. Kario Ujugo. Nigeria's former Chief of General Staff, Commodore Ebitu Ukiwe, Senator Ifanya Rarume, Minister of Science and Technology, Dr. Bunayaonu, former National Chairman of the PDP, Dr. Amadu Ali and his wife, Dr. Miriam Amadu Ali, 
Pastor Ayo Rishijafo, with whom the father of one of the grooms, Pastor Adewoye, works, was also present with his wife. The church service for the solemnization of the holy matrimony between the Uzodima twins and their husbands went through the penitential rites. So, Liturgy of the Word, Bible Reading, and Responsorial Psalms, which are regular features of services conducted in the Catholic Church tradition, with special renditions in congregational hymns. In the sermon of the officiating minister, he congratulated Senator Hopu Zodima and his in-laws for the bold bridge-building step they have taken. He advised the new couples to endeavor to be worthy ambassadors of their families and the right exemplar of inspiration for all those wishing to go into the sacred marriage institution. He then prayed for them. Marriage is a gift. You will give yourselves to each other as a gift. During the celebration, you will give rings to each other as a symbol of this giving, as a symbol of your solemn vows before all of us gathered here and before God himself. You give yourselves body, soul, mind to each other as a gift far more precious than the rings that you will exchange today. So I want you to keep in mind that marriage is a gift of yourselves. It is a gift of life. The couples Sandra Nkechi and Adeola Adewoye and Sophie Nkem and David Onyekachukwonovo were joined by their parents, sponsors of the marriage and the clergymen as they signed the dotted lines. Photo and video sessions ensued after, and then the Thanksgiving session followed. In his vote of thanks before the church service wound up, Senator Hopu Zodima, the father of the twin brides, thanked everyone for the support they gave to the marriage 
and prayed that God will take them home safely. There was an extensive photo and video session outside the church as the new couples took turns for photo opportunities with their friends, family members and well-wishers. The grand reception that brought to a fitting crescendo, the glamorous wedding of the twin daughters of Senator Hopu Zadima, took place at the International Conference Center, Abuja, with a more comprehensive pan-Nigerian assemblage of key figures in the different spheres of life in attendance, who apparently showed up to make up for their absence at the church proceedings earlier on in the day. Prominent among the dignitaries were Nigeria's former First Lady, Dame Patience Goodluck Jonathan, Mama Peace, the Chairman of the People's Democratic Party, Senator Alimodu Sharif, Chief Tom Ikimi, Senator Ben Obi, former Minister Dame Pauline Tallinn, who represented the First Lady, Mrs. Aisha Muhammad Buhari, and Senator Joy Emode. With the huge presence of seven members of the Upper Chamber of Nigeria's National Assembly in attendance to honor one of their own, Senator Hopu Zodimma, if they had so decided, they could easily have held a plenary session with a quorum, which is the prerequisite already in place. Led by the Deputy President of the Senate, Senator Ike Kurimado, others include Senate Minority Leader, Senator Godswill Akbabio, Senator Samuel Anyamu, Senators Dino Milaye, Albert Basse, Rose Oko, Mao Ohabunwa, Eyinaya Abaribe, and Stella Udwa, Senator Udo Udoma, Minister of Budget and Planning, Senator Chris Ngege, Minister of Labor and Productivity, Senator Ita Enang, the advisor to President Buhari on National Assembly matters, joined past senators like Senator Abubakar Gada, Gambo Lawal and others to rejoice with a friend and colleague. It was indeed a day for Nigerians, especially the Igbo nation, to rise in unison to thank a very charitable and most detribalized Nigerian, Senator Hopu Zodimma, who has put her services at the disposal of Imo State and Nigeria in the last six years, where he most ably represented the people of Imo West constituency, considered the largest in the entire southeast of Nigeria. Senator Hope Uzodimma, who is a successful international businessman with tentacles spread across the entire country, with thousands of Nigerians in his employment, is the holder of the prestigious traditional chieftaincy title of Onwane Tirioha of Omuma in Olu local government area of Imo State. As a ranking member of the Nigeria Senate, Senator Hope Uzodimma heads very influential committees of the Senate. He has been instrumental to bring in very many projects which have brought a lot of value to the people of Imo State and the improvement of the general well-being of Nigerians in all parts of the country. Other heavyweight dignitaries in attendance at the wedding of the Uzodimma twins, Commodore Ibitu Ukiwe, Senator Chief Jim Wobodo and his wife, former Deputy Speaker of the House of Reps, Honorable Emeka Hedioha, the traditional institution from all parts of the country, led by the Oni of Ife and Jaja of Upobo Kingdom, gave a robust support to Senator Hopu Zodimma and his in-laws. The program formally got underway with the hearty entry of the parents of the couples, Senator Hopu Zodimma, Pastor Adewoye and Chief Onovu and their wives. Among other women organizations who rallied a huge support for Senator Hopu Zodimma and his in-laws were the Southeast Women Diamond Stars, Nigeria and the Diaspora, of which Senator Hopu Zodimma is the patron and benefactor. The Southeast Women Diamond Star, which is an initiative of former Vice President Dr. Alex Ekweme, was formed to bring all Igbo women together, irrespective of place, marriage, religion or social class. The national matron of the group is former First Lady, Her Excellency, Chief Lady Victoria Aguirunsi. The national president of the Southeast Women Diamond Stars, Nigeria and the Diaspora is Chief Mrs. Anne Francis Okerafon Nosike, a psychologist, woman leader and politician of note.
the couples of the moment, Sandra and Adeola Adewoye, and Sophie and David Onovu, glided in majestically with their groomsmen and bridesmaid, as Flavor welcomed them with some of his audience favorites. And this brought a completely fresh vista of life to the entire atmosphere. The opening prayer was said by Pastor Ayo Rishejavo, past president of the Christian Association of Nigeria, Can, who is very close to the father of one of the grooms, Pastor Adewoye. The chairman of the occasion was Senator Major General Ike Mwachuku, who, amongst other accomplishments, had the special privilege of being knighted by Queen Elizabeth II of England during his tour of duty as Nigeria's Foreign Affairs Minister many years ago. In his welcome remarks, he rejoiced with Senator Hopu Zodimma and congratulated the lucky couples for being used as a model for the continued existence of our country as one corporate entity. General Ike Wachuku enjoined all Nigerians to explore all areas of our diversities as a nation to full advantage. It is absolutely remarkable that the two twin girls got married the same day to two different parts of our country. One is Igbo, the other is Yoruba. And the Yoruba isn't the Lagos Yoruba, but the Midland Yoruba or Shun State that tells a story. As you know, I am a hybrid myself. And I understand that we have a country, a country can be, that can only be built on love, harmony, equitability, justice, and fairness. It is so in a wedding or in a marriage. When two persons come together, they come together believing in themselves that they need to work together as a team set aside all our differences and build a home. And I pray the Almighty God that you, both of you, the two families now, would build a home, a home based on the tenets of Christianity, a home based on value system, a home based on love, because the Bible says of everything, love is about all. The chairman, Major General Ike Wachuku, retired, then went ahead to conduct the breaking of the colonnade. He asked the Deputy Senate President, Senator Ike Kurumadu, to present colonnades to Ezekletus Ilumwanya, who conducted the breaking of the colonnades with the monarchs, especially from the southeast of Nigeria, including the elder brother of Senator Hopu Zodimma, who is the traditional ruler of Omuma, his hometown taking turns to invoke traditional blessings for the success of the wedding. The parents-in-law of Senator Hopu Zodima's twin daughters, Pastor Adewoye, who is an employee in the NNPC system from Inisha in Oshun State, and Chief Onovu from Enugu State, also prayed specially on the colonnades. The cutting of the wedding cakes followed, and the two couples fed each other later, in a most romantic fashion. All the ways of a most hate is search of a better half. 
And now, well gathered at ICC, he has chosen, selected his better half. Once you have one, you call two. And they have become one. Clap now, clap. In his search for a better half, wonder the streets, the valleys of Imo State. In fact, he moved on until he found the better half. And now we're all gathered here because we're in. Okay. And they have become one. And in fact, they are. Oh, it's a girl! Put your hands together. Come on, put your hands together. The Uzodima twins are 25 years old. Sandra Uzodima Adewoye, a mass communications graduate from Babcock University, Elisha Remo in Ogun State, now works at the Central Bank of Nigeria. Her husband, Adeola Adewoye, is a sociology graduate from the Redeemers University, Lagos. Adeola Adewoye is into the enterprise of water treatment. They met through mutual friends and dated for five years. Sophie Nkim Uzodima did political science as a first degree at the Babcock University, Elisha Remo Ogun State, and she has a master's degree in management from the Sheffield University, United Kingdom. She met her husband, David Onovo, at the Sky Lounge Abuja during a dinner, and they had only planned for the marriage for one year. David Onovo, who studied information technology in Malaysia, is into full-scale mechanized farming as the CEO of Onovo International Farms, which supplies products like poultry, fish, and agricultural products across Abuja, Nasarawa, Benue, Kaduna, and Enugu states. Flavor performed specially for the two couples before their toasts were proposed by two of their friends, to which they responded respectively. The marriage of the Uzodima twins and their husbands also featured a session where words of encouragement and advices were given to them by those who have made a huge success of their marriages. Hope Uzodima's marriage is a marriage of Nigeria. Look around the whole place. The whole of Nigeria is here. Hope Uzodima has proved to us that we cannot do without each other. PDP caucus in the Senate, congratulate our dear brother, the hope for the unity of Nigeria, the hope for the good people of Imo State, the hope for our future togetherness. Distinguished Senator Hope Zodima and his dear children. Today he has acquired two extra children. And I want to congratulate the two brides and of course their spouses. This is indeed an uncommon gathering and this is indeed an uncommon event. It's not easy for a man to be alive 
to give out two of his children in marriage the same day. And this is a wonderful occasion. God has given him grace. And the grace in any man's life or parent is for you to have children, number one, train your children and see them go into matrimony to increase and multiply your race. The event ended with a vote of thanks given by Senator Hope Uzadimma, who spoke on behalf of his in-laws. I want to start by thanking each and every one of us. And I've taken time to be here today. But I've spent most of this day celebrating and thanking God with us. I know that in my mind that government is inanimate without the people. I'm very happy and over happy that two of my daughters are today being given out. That is the, the zenith of my happiness. As we round up, we present Flavors Music, uncensored and uninterrupted. Courtesy, Senator Hope Uzodimma, who spared no cost to give his twins the best marriage any girl would wish for. From the chairman and CEO Biscon Communications, Prince B.C. Olatilo, who was the chief master of ceremony at the event, and the entire Biscon Communications family. It's a huge congratulations to the Uzodimma twins and Senator Hope Uzodimma and his in-laws, who are from Osho, and Inugu states. With more marriages like this, the fabric of the relationship of the Nigerian nation will be further cemented.